It's week 30 of Zur, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now, it is week 30 of Zur, and Zur is located on Titan by the rig, so we're gonna mark him and find out what he has this week. Zur! What's up, dude? Like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. For the very first exotic, we have the Celestial Nighthawk. For the Hunter class, this comes with one mobility and two resilience. Transic perk on this is Hawkeye Hack, which modifies Golden Gun and fires a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot explode. And then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as a Solar Paragon mod. Now, if you guys do not have this and you are a hunter, go ahead and grab this. Also, if you do not have this and you do not have a hunter anyways, grab this anyways. This is definitely a top tier exotic for your hunter class. And I'm probably going to rate this uh, a tier 2 in PvE, but it's not so good in PvP. That one shot, you know, unless you have all the enemies coming down that one corridor or that one doorway at the same time, that one shot isn't going to be really good in PvP. So in PvP, I'm definitely going to give this a tier 4. If you guys do not know my tier scale, I will put my tier scale in the description below. That way you guys can go ahead and check that out. So definitely a tier 2 in PvE, because uh, it's definitely good against bosses. Definitely a tier 4 in PvP, because it's really not that good against uh, you know several people. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Hollow Fire Heart for the Titan. This gives you two mobility as well as two resilience. And in terms of perk on this is Sunfire Furnace, which greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while Hammer of Soul is charged. And then we have Posterior Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, as well as Solar Impact mod. Now, this is definitely a good exotic that's specific to your hammer class when you are a titan so definitely go ahead and grab this It's definitely good in pve as well as pvp so i'm definitely going to rate it a tier two in pve and pvp and if you guys do not have this go ahead and grab it because it is definitely really 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 good for your uh wonderful thor class so go ahead and do that next exotic we're gonna go over is the eye of another world for the Warlock class, and this comes with one mobility and two recovery. And transit perk is Cerebral Uplink, which highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade, melee, and rift abilities. Secondary, oh I'm sorry, secondary I guess perks on this is a mobility enhancement mod, as well as restorative mod and impact absorption mod. Now, this exotic is a good exotic. It would be in my top five exotics for my Warlock. But, I feel that there are better exotics still out there. For example, the Ophidian Aspect, I still feel is a 100% better exotic, as well as the wonderful Nezarek Sin. So, if you guys do not have either of those two, Eye of Another World is a good, I would say, starter exotic for your Warlock. But, if you have the Ophidian Aspect or the Nezarek Sin, I definitely would use those two over Eye of Another World. However, Eye of Another World is not a bad exotic, so I am definitely going to have to rate this a tier 2, uh, 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. So if you guys don't have it, go ahead and grab it. Weapon of the Week is the wonderful Prometheus Lens, and this is an exotic trace rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is... Prismatic Inferno, which fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. Then we have Chambered Compensator, uh, Projection Fuse, Flame Refraction, which kills with this weapon, return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine, extended the beam's duration, and then we have Composite Stock. And like all exotics, they come with a plus 5 weapon attack mod, or at least the weapons do. Now, the Prometheus lens currently, I'm not entirely sure how good it is. 
I've been away from the game for a while. I know they nerfed the shit out of the Prometheus lens, but they did buff it a little bit to give it a little bit of uh, gameplay, but it really hasn't seen that much gameplay in PvP. PvE, I'm pretty sure, you know, you can kill ads like cool with this. But in PvP, uh, I haven't really seen it that much. So I'm probably going to rate this a tier 3.5 in PvP, but probably just a tier 3 in PvE. Next, we have your consumables, which I feel there should be more. Your three of coins, which after popping one of these, it gives you a chance to get an exotic for the next four hours. And last but not least, we have your faded engram. And if you guys don't have a specific engram down here, grab these first before you go ahead and waste 97 legendary shards on a faded engram on an exotic that you do not already have. And if you guys enjoy this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.